Hello, happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. Such a great time to connect with you. Last week I shared with you that I went to the hospital, I did my CT scan, and today I have my results. And they are right, right here. So these are my results. As you can see there, I was in this machine right here. Um, and then I opened and I got these results, which I didn't quite understand them. But there was an explanation here, which I tried to Google to understand what is happening to me. So I'll, I'll see the doctor next week, uh, my GP, but the key person will be my neurologist who I'll see in the next two weeks. So I'll show this to my GP, but from what I understand from here is my arteries are okay. My left side is fine, but there's something in my left, in my right brain at the back here. So yeah, so those are my results. I'll share with you in a couple of weeks, but what does it mean to me? Uh, last week, we also talked about the seven years of plenty and the seven years of drought. And there's a reason why the plenty has come before the drought years, so that you can prepare for the drought years. And my question to you was, what season are you in? So last year, my season was my season of drought. Of course, I I had the I I had work. In fact, there was a lot of work waiting for me, but I didn't have the capacity to work. Like I could not speak, I could not see, I could not, I could not eat, I, I could not move, but I had work. But for some of you, you are healthy, but you don't have work. So which one would you prefer? Personally, I prefer not having work, but I'm okay because I can, I can always get work. But the other way around is a bit challenging. So, so my implication for this, when I see these results, uh, it tells me that Financially, I need to prepare myself for drought. Um, I may be in a season of plenty right now, and but drought is coming. But how am I preparing myself for that? Two years ago, if you ask me, my budget for medication for health was maybe ten dollars, twenty dollars max, or even five dollars. I was healthy, I was keeping fit, I was running, I was eating healthy, but life changed like this. And what I've learned from that is my assumption, and perhaps most of us assume this, uh, that you always, since we are young, you'll always be healthy. Um, and that was a big assumption. So that, if you have that assumption, then you don't prepare for the drought in terms of your health and for those who are in africa you know uh, if your health is affected definitely your finances will be affected so they go hand in hand you become unwell it's very easy to grow to go broke but if you're healthy then there's a high chance you're not using your finances on your health so it become um more liquid and the other assumption that i had was i'll always have a job i'll always be productive i'll always have the energy to work perhaps maybe not a job but i have the energy to work and of course last year you guys know what happened to me i had work but i don't have the energy to work so so my assumption of i'll always be liquid i'll always have money i'll always have work was busted and the reality is you may be liquid now you have money now you have the energy now that does not necessarily mean that you always have money with you yes we're in a season of plenty but just note there will be a season of drought coming like what we talked about the seven years of plenty seven years of drought now we don't know if it is seven weeks, seven months, seven years for plenty, which year are we at? Um, and the years are very figurative at this point. It can be uh, some some years, some months, some days, some weeks. We don't know. So, so what are you doing to prepare yourself for the coming days of drought? And for me, the writing is on the wall. As you can see, 
this just tells me I, I can't understand it right now but when i looked at it i just know perhaps i may want to seek a second opinion that will cost money the doctors told me um, that i'll always be on medication so i must keep my medication budget increasing because it's very expensive and it's daily honestly i didn't think i'll be in this place if you asked me two years ago i thought my medication budget will come when i'm 20 years plus from where i am right now but it has come sooner um because they say i can the chances of me getting a stroke are higher than you if i don't take that medication so that medication will help me not to be where i was last year now for those who are in drought currently i was in drought last year so i understand what you are going through so for some of it may be you are you are alien or maybe in financial challenges your financial drought maybe you're in debt so this is the good news i have for you it will not last forever it will come to an end tomorrow will be better if you but if you do something about it today my for my case i needed to exercise do all those things so that tomorrow will be better and for sure i am better than last year check my videos you'll see how i was i was not in a good shape last year um i could not talk i could not see but i did something about it i exercised i ate healthy and here i am today um, i'm okay you can see my hands are moving well i don't have some issues some paralysis that i had so if you are if you are maybe in debt uh, maybe perhaps take another job um live within your means uh i don't know what you will do but do something do something if you don't do anything that situation will stay the way it is but for those who are in plenty this is my advice to you don't assume you will always be in plenty that you will always have money you will always have good health don't assume that prepare put money aside save invest for the coming drought whenever it will come but it will come so so that's my advice to you for those who are in drought it will come to an end do something about it today for those who are in plenty don't assume you'll always have money you'll always be in good health drought may be coming very soon or maybe in some few years but prepare for it um, so that's what I had for you today and um, I'm so happy that I have this. Uh, at least now I can talk to my doctor about all this um, jargon here. I tried to Google, I didn't quite understand. So I'll be sharing with you in the coming few weeks uh, what my GP says next week. And then the other week my neurologist what he'll say about this. I hope it's good news, um, but I know for me, the writing is on the wall. I need to invest in my in my in my medication more than perhaps I had planned to. So, so which season are you at right now? You can put it on the comment section below, or if you prefer, send me an email. Uh, you can just do that. But I like to connect with you, and thank you for those who have been sending me messages. Thank you, I highly appreciate, and I wish you a lovely, lovely we can enjoy their time with your family with your friends that's all that matters so enjoy yourself bye bye and take care